What is going on guys? Welcome to your 15th Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, as promised in the last tutorial, we're going to be finding the first compatible display modes and pretty much comparing display modes that we give our game to display modes that are on the user's video card. And we're going to compare them all against each other and pull out one that matches. So let's go ahead and write a little comment. Um, compares DM pass into V video card display modes and see if they match bam look at that and might as well spell that right I mean why not so what we're gonna do first of all is name it public uh, we're gonna be returning display mode and let's name it find first compatible mode looks good let me make sure I compatible mode I probably messed something up but we'll fix that later and now what we need to do is we're gonna be passing it in a list of display modes so display mode and we'll just name our list modes and by list I mean array sorry I use it interchangeably so now we have a list of display modes that we pass it in so now what we want to do is get that um, get all of the display modes from our graphics card so let's go ahead and put display mode and put good modes and you set that equal to equals video card dot get and it should pop up get display modes right there so now we pretty much have two arrays the display modes we pass it in and the display modes from our graphics card and they are named modes and good modes because we know that these are good already so you know that's why I named them good modes so let's go ahead and make a for statement to loop through each of these so put in x um, just set this equal to zero and then put x is less than modes dot length just like that so what this is going to do this for loop is pretty much going to loop through the modes that we passed it in and of course we need to end it with x plus plus so now we're looping through all the modes that we passed it in and we're actually going to make an inner for loop called for and put put int y equals zero and put y is less than good modes dot length and y plus plus so now what we're going to do is we're going to loop through where are you we're going to loop through the modes and then inside that we're going to loop through the video card modes and what we're going to do is make an if statement to compare the R modes we passed in to the video card modes. So how do we do this? Put if display modes match display modes match just like this and if you're wondering all right is this a built-in method or where did this method come from actually this method display modes match we're gonna be creating this later and what it's gonna do is take two modes and we'll put the X mode which is the mode that we passed in and the good modes oh, make sure I spelled everything white right to we're pretty much going to be comparing two modes the mode that we passed in to the mode that was built into our graphics card and what are we going to do with this we're going to write all right if those modes match and this is going to be a boolean it's going to either return return true or false so if it's true what we're going to run do return and you pretty much only have to return one of these um since if they match they're going to be the same so let's just put return modes x in modes right like that x so again one last time what we're going to be doing is comparing a list of modes we passed in to the list of display modes from our graphics card looping through all of them and when they match each other we're going to return that mode and why does it not matter because if we compare this one and this one and they're the same then we can just return either of them since we're going to get the same result no matter what one return because it's only going to work if it's they're the same so now that we built this method um, what do we want to do next well I can build this method display modes match to see if they match but actually that might take some time so I'll probably do that in the next tutorial let's go ahead and build one more method and get this out of the way um, get 
current DM for display mode. So let's make public. Oh, by the way, all this is going to do is get the current display mode that you're working with right now. We're going to be using this later on. So public is going to return to display mode, of course. Get current display mode. It's not going to take any parameters. All it's going to do is return vc dot get display mode right there. So whenever we call this screen dot get current display mode function or excuse me method, I'm working with C++. Um, all it's going to do is return this display mode you're working with. And if you can't remember, display mode is um, width, height, um, and pretty much your bit depth. That's all you need to know really. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be building this method right here to display modes match to compare two display modes and see if they match each other. And if they are, return true. If they don't match each other, return false. But it's actually a really confusing um, tutorial. We have to comp compare height, width, uh, bit depth, and also refresh rates. So it's going to be a kind of a complex method. It's going to take the whole tutorial probably, but it's going to be awesome, very educational. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.